plug that reload in. Hey, bad. See how long that took. What shot was that? Two, four, six, eight, one, four, two for the reload. Yeah, the reload happened in the movement, so really it was one, four, two into the position and the sights back on there. Yeah. So you'll be able to hit those reloads in a step to a step and a half um, period. Definitely um, draw firing reload static. You know, at, at a rate where you're programming in mechanics, that's worth doing. Uh, when you do draw fire, it's also worth putting in a reload into with a step, either direction. Okay, uh, so you work those those mechanics and techniques, the little differences in how you need to collapse the pistol when you're moving to your sport side, versus how you can collapse the pistol and reload it moving to your firing hand side. Uh, draw fire, talked about it a lot before. It's a great place to install and refine mechanics. Uh, when you're installing mechanics, and even to a degree when you're refining them, it can't be all about how fast your hands move. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta move those hands at a fluid, comfortable rate, and even sometimes a deliberate rate to program things and then let it start flowing and then start testing it for, for speed and pressure. Uh, but in-state coming all down together, um, need to be able to hit reloads, practical applications of shooting, um, inside a step or a step and a half of like normal rate of movement. And I think what you'll find if you did, um, you know, minus, you know, where the target is or the, the fact, you know, there was a vision barrier there. Um, if we did just a, a static reload, you know, shot, reload, shot, or did a shot, step, reload, shot, it'd be the same time. Um, this vision barrier kind of pulled a little bit of difference in the time there, but. Anyway, some thoughts, hope you enjoyed it.